The lack of supports for asylum seekers in Toronto became quite clear when hundreds of refugees from African countries were forced to sleep on sidewalks outside a downtown Toronto shelter intake office last July, prompting Toronto Mayor Olivia Chow to apologize and plead for financial help from other levels of government. On Friday, the federal government revealed how much money Toronto would receive to help asylum seekers and low-income renters. Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance Christia Freeland said that the federal government would provide over $162 million in additional support for Toronto. A government release explained that first the federal government will provide an additional $143 million for Toronto through the Interim Housing Assistance Program IHAP, to reimburse costs incurred by the city in 2023 and the first quarter of 2024. This additional funding will help the city to shelter the vulnerable asylum claimants in welcomes who come to Canada seeking protection from violence, war and persecution. The federal funding is a part of the $362.4 million announced on Wednesday to help provinces and cities find housing for asylum seekers, money that the province said isn't enough considering the breadth of the migrant crisis. As of the last week, about 73,000 asylum claimants in need of housing were staying at 4,000 hotel rooms in six provinces, Immigration Minister Mark Miller confirmed. On Wednesday, Paul Kalander, the Ontario's Minister for Municipal Affairs and Housing, said that even if all the $362.4 million went to Toronto, it still wouldn't be enough. Freeland also announced a $19.75 million top-up to the City of Toronto's share of the Canada-Ontario housing benefit. A federal government release stated that this benefit provides direct financial support to low-income renters to help them cover the cost of rent.